You've also got another issue, guys, and I think a lot of you know this. Uh, a lot of content doesn't actually support the higher channel counts. They, I don't know why they're doing this. I've talked to people in the industry to get good answers, and all I've gotten is it may be related to budget stuff, but there are there is content that we watch which has been intentionally limited in such a way that when you play it back on a system, even like a Trinov, that can handle very high rendering counts, it will in fact, it will be locked out of those channels. Uh, two, of your, your two to four of your tops may not be doing anything, your wides may not be doing anything, and then if you start adding additional surrounds and everything else, they may not be uh, getting a lot of content there because they, the, the data was put together in such a way that ultimately what really happens with the processor is it acts like an array instead of prop, properly panning stuff around you. So, I mean, obviously we should build a system to be as high performance as we want it to be. That's part of how you do this. And the content is secondary. You know, like we want to build the system and then the content, we just have to find what makes sense to play back on it to really show what it can do. But when most of the content we play back is not supportive of the system we put together, it's kind of a show pony and not a very useful one. So I, I'm not a huge fan of really high channel count systems. I love doing them for people, but for my own system, probably not something I would do. 